Hi, I'm Jason, and in this quick tutorial, I'm going to take you through how we can use VLC Media Player, the free open source media player, to not only just record your desktop, um, but to also include the audio from a microphone. And this is something that I've been asked many times by many people um, in, in the industry that I work in. And really, it hasn't really been able to be done. Um, but I don't know if something's changed, but um, I've now found a way. So what I'm going to do is I've already got VLC uh, Media Player installed. So you can see the icon on my desktop on the top left here. But if you don't have it installed, just open up uh, a browser and search for VLC. And you'll see here videolan.org. I'll leave a, a link in the description. So the first things you're going to want to do is obviously let's open VLC Media Player and what we want to do is unlock some extra features in this bar down the bottom here. So we do that by going to view and we say advanced controls and now we can see we've got like a record and a, a picture a camera icon and etc. So that's handy to have you'll see why in a minute. The next thing we're going to want to do is select our sort of capture device, if you like, and it's going to be our desktop computer. So if we go up to media and then select open capture device. And then in the capture mode here, I'm going to drop this box down and I'm going to say, well, I want to capture my desktop. And then further down here, we've got the desired frame rates for the capture. So uh, at the moment, it's sort of defaulted to one frame a second, which isn't very good. So let's change that to around 30. That seems to be quite adequate for me. And down the bottom here, we see another box that says show more options. So if I tick that, it then opens up um, more options here. And this one in particular, play another media synchronously, extra audio file. If I check that box, and then in here, we're going to type something called Wasapi with a colon and then forward slash forward slash. So just like that. So uh, Wasapi is basically Windows Audio Session API. Um, it enables a client application to manage the flow of audio. Um, so that is the, sort of been the missing link to uh, all the questions that people have asked me in the past. So once we've done this, if we go down to play, click on the arrow to the right, and we're going to say convert. And in the profile list here, if yours doesn't come up, if it comes up blank, just drop down the box and choose the top one. So we're going to do H264 plus MP3, MP4. Now there is a slight change I want to make to the audio. So before I go any further, I'm going to click this spanner icon. And then in the audio codec here, I'm going to select that tab. And in the codec, if yours isn't set to AAC, I would suggest setting it to MPEG-4 Audio AAC. And we'll save that. And now we're going to browse to the destination file that we want to put our file when we finish with it. So I'm going to say Browse. And let's open up our PC. Let's say we're going to put it in Videos and I'll make a new folder and we'll call this uh, test test rec I'll go into that folder and we'll call it uh, desktop VLC test something like that and as we can see we can save it as file type it's already selected mp4 so I'm just going to click save so once I've done that, I can now click Start. And you'll notice that the uh, timer here is now clicking up in seconds. Our red record button is indeed red, so it's recording. So if I shrink this down, and let's just go and do something like, um, let's have a look in Downloads or Documents, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to say OK and bring up my VLC. And I'm going to say Stop. So with that stopped, let's go and have a look in our videos folder or wherever it was that you put yours. And we can see our test VLC, our desktop test VLC. And if I open it, 
and you'll and notice that the, uh, the uh, and that's my uh, audio, uh, audio been recorded whilst I was our red our record red button, button isn't recording the screen. The screen. So if I shrink this down, and let's and just go and do something like uh, Anyway, I hope you found that tutorial useful. Thanks for watching.